Before today, I could never do this. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and a lot more in today's AI news. You can now use AI directly in Google Sheets. Kind of like having a chat GPT inside of your spreadsheet. As you can see, just click on help organize and then you can see tracking tasks for a project to build a new website. And just like that, all the data. This is also available in Word and it can help me write, for example, a pitch to a new smartphone with a transparent screen. And here you can formalize, shorten, elaborate and insert it directly into Google Docs. Now the first step to get access to this is to go to Google Labs and join the waitlist. It's currently open to a lot of countries. Either you're on the inside, you can click help me organize in the top left and you can prompt it whatever you want to create the template. And not only that, click on insert and just like that, you can edit however much you want. For example, click on status in progress, or you can just edit the entire data validation rules. The future of this function is going to be insane. It's a full time job to be in Excel. And this will help a lot of people do that way faster. YouTube is getting AI powered dubbing and it's available right now. You can see that if we're on Mr. Beast's YouTube video, this is a $1 billion super yacht. And it's been I can click in the settings, click on audio track, and now I have all of these languages dubbed. So if I click on Spanish, listen to this. Este es un super yate de mil millones de dólares y es lo bastante grande. What about Vietnamese? I'm pissed they don't have Norwegian. So YouTube is bringing in the team from Allowed, which was part of one of Google's incubator project. YouTube is already testing the tool with hundreds of creators and says that Allowed currently supports a few languages, allowing a number of creators to add multi-language dubs to their videos. They're also working to make translated audio tracks sound like the creator's voice and have a lip sync. <laughs> we already saw a tool for that. So Google already has this available. So I guess now it's all time to put it together. For me as a creator, this is extremely cool to see because now people from other languages are able to watch my videos in my voice with my lips speaking all Spanish. Don't take meeting notes. Let AI do it for you. This connects directly into Zoom and Google Meet it transcribes the entire meeting for you and summarizes it. So step number one is we go to tldv.io and in the top, you can get it for Zoom or Google Meet. I use Zoom, so let's get it for that. Okay, just like that, ready when you are. Now I actually have a new button. Just talk and click AI does the rest. Simply press the pin and AI will generate a highlight that summarizes this part of the conversation. Let's actually generate something from ChatGPT and then read that. I'm just gonna start reading and time lapse. Stop and save. Okay, first recording check. Awesome, you can actually set it to auto record all your meetings. And now after you have done the entire Zoom meeting, you can for example, select what you want to create a clip from, right click and create a clip. This is very useful if somebody wasn't at the meeting, you can clip that out, send it over to your team and communication is so much faster. Besides clips, you also have this awesome thing called AI tags. You can choose for different role specific AI meeting templates like sales, customer success, user research, hiring, VC interviews, and all of these. And you will automatically timestamp, summarize, and label according to those topics. And the reason why this is important is because it labels the summarized timestamps with labels like feature requests, bugs, pain points, or to do, etc. And you can see this in the search function. I only have one meeting here, but if I had many, I can, for example, search for meeting to know where is the meeting. And we could take it from there, create a clip and so forth. As you can see, it directs us directly to where is the meeting, 
in the transcript. It integrates into the top softwares right now and more coming. So check it out on tldv.io. Just write one prompt and an entire fiction novel is written. The prompt here being a high-tech future where humans have integrated with machines, but ancient magic is reawakening. 20 chapters and some other information and press play. As you can see, it's now loading. Now it actually created the full cover for him. And on top of that, when we open the book, it's 20 chapters of fantasy book. And then direct export this to Kindle. This is open source and free. The author says my favorite part is that it doesn't just write the novel, it also creates an original cover based on the book. Eleven Labs is introducing voice library. Eleven Labs is my current favorite AI voiceovers and this is going to help it. Introducing voice library. Voice Library is a community space where you can generate, share and explore a virtually limitless range of voices. Leveraging our voice design tool, Voice Library brings together a vast collection of vocal styles for countless applications. Find a dark, velvety voice for suspense-filled audiobooks. Or a chirpy animated one for your hilarious cooking vlogs. Or even a deep, commanding voice for an intense military video game. Generate unique voices, discover new ones, and be part of shaping the future of AI audio, one voice at a time. To me, this is very exciting. If you don't know, they launched about a month ago, a voice maker that could create old, young, female, male. And now that you have the ability to share this will help a lot. So when you see here, I can sort by trending, sort by latest, most users. Let's actually see which one is the most users here. 12,000, let's do a sample. To exist is to change, to change is to mature. To mature is to go on creating oneself endlessly. Yep, gotta say it's pretty good. What about this Indian one? We must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. Indian man with deep I voice. I believe that we are fundamentally the same and have the same basic potential. This one is trending. You yep. can't blame gravity for falling in love. Raspy, deep British. If you surrender to the wind, you can ride it. Come on, this is an epic feature. You can generate free AI art with way higher quality now. Stability AI launched SDXL.9. On the left is the before photo and on the right is the way better after photo. Also on the left, see the wolf is not so good, but on the right, it's hyper realistic. Same with this coffee cup, space in a bottle. And the best part is that it's free, so you can go to clip drop and use it right now. So I can, for example, enter Viking man with an ax in a hand, standing in a victory pose, just like that, free, open source. Also, if you didn't know, you can download this image, then you can use another tool that Stability AI has, which is, just click on tools and click Click on uncrop. Now just drag the image over and just look at this. We can expand the crop outside just like this. Click on next and it will generate four different versions of what it thinks will go outside of the frame. You can also get access to this through the Stability AI API and it's also on GitHub. You can see for free, you can literally get 400 images per day. You can uncrop over a hundred images per day. They will have a watermark on them, but y'all know you can just easily take away the watermark anyways. Huge win for the open source community. ChatGPT for research just got released. This AI tool is called Consensus and it focuses on evidence-based answers. So if we ask it, what does the research say about, does creatine help build muscle? You get all the most up-to-date research papers. Now let me open them all. It basically pulls out the full abstract and you can obviously go to the research paper itself. And these ones are actually good with 59 citations. And my favorite is copying the abstract, paste it into ChatGPT and write, what is the most interesting thing about this? What evidence did they find? And ChatGPT just explains it to me. Is there any science around YouTube? The study further shows that YouTube application is efficient, satisfying, useful and learnable. Did you use the same application that I use. Oh, the study was presented uh, among Malaysian teenagers. <laughs> Amazing new AI website. AI has transformed job hunting forever. Look at all these AI tools. Number one is resumemaker.ai that gives you a resume and cover letter generator. Number two is interviewspeed.ai nail your dream interview. 
Number three, one salting AI, your full suite of job search AI tools. Number four, the jobs for me, get personalized job recommendations. Number five, career circles, people affected by layoffs bounce back. Number six, job hunt with two ends, AI powered job application assistant. Number seven, existential, AI powered custom career advice. Number eight, job scan, optimize your resumes to get more interviews. Number nine, Aragon, transform your selfies into AI generated headshots. Rack less, job search with community driven job matching. Number 11, jobprofile.io, create winning resumes in minutes. Number 12, practice interview chatbot for job interview preparation. 13, network AI, connect with industry professionals. Number 14, career hub AI, upgrade your career with the power of AI. Number 15, futurefinder.ai. AI powered education and career advisor. Number 16, Mimir, personalized coaching through AI chats. Number 17, jobinterview.coach, complete AI job interview coaching platform. 18, engage AI, enables LinkedIn users to build relationships using AI. Number 19, Doodly, improve your communication skills using AI. And number 20, kick resume. AI powered resume builder. Apparently the quickest way to find a job is to connect your AI with their AI. Just cut out the middleman. Have you guys tried any of these? Did any of them get you a job? Drop a comment on this video. Most people have not heard about chat, GPT, Bing AI, Bard or Midjourney or anything. Check out this graph that on the green side, they haven't used or heard it. On the yellow side, they actually don't know what it is. You can see that ChatGPT 57% actually have heard of it, maybe even used it. With Bing Chat 46%, My AI from Snapchat 45%, Bard 38%, Midjourney 25%, and Stable Diffusion 23%. So think about that: 75% of the entire world, or actually, what was the data set? 2,000 US adults don't even know what it is. They got asked the questions: Will these technologies have a big impact on society? AI ranking with the highest. How is AI? being used. You can see search, brainstorming, and art dominate the current AI use with answer a question at 58%, brainstorming 54%, and a lot of the other ones at around 25 to 30%. Most people thought AI did a better job than they could at all of these different things. Concerns about AI art, 44% ask AI to copy an artist's style, 43% believe companies should ban copying artists. 47% believe artists should be compensated when AI copies their work. And I fall in this camp as well. Here is the support for regulations and laws. So basically they want regulations and laws at 76% on all of these different things. People feel both excited, anxious, both or neither quite equally. With personal life and jobs, they're actually more worried at 31%. 51% of Americans believe that AI will become sentient at some point. 64% are not opposed to companies producing an AI that is conscious or sentient. Now, if you're one of the people that are worried about losing your job because of AI, what actually will happen is that people using AI tools will take the jobs from people that are not using AI tools. And a person using AI tools can become 10 times more efficient than other people. So that's why. So there's a membership down below for the private community. I highly recommend it. I give away every AI automation that I use to basically shave hours off of my time at work and you get to join live streams and the community. So I would love to have you here if you enjoyed this YouTube video. Now let's get into the next one. Zoom just dropped an AI feature. And I don't know if this is funny or useless or helpful. Would you use something like this? We love being together face to face, but we can't always be together in the same place at the same time. Zoom bridges the gap, giving everyone a chance to be included, to share their ideas and collaborate as one team. Good morning, everyone. Let's talk about today's forecast. 
Zoom Room's Smart Gallery uses AI and a single camera meeting room setup to pick people out from a crowded meeting room, making in-room participants equal to those joining remotely. But what about larger rooms and bigger meetings? The ones where there are more people or a bigger space that makes it hard to see or hear everyone when you're not in person. Imagine if you could solve the problem for everyone. Zoom Room's Intelligent Director does just that. Powered by AI, Intelligent Director uses cameras from the leading hardware manufacturers to capture multiple video streams, analyze them in real time, and displays the best view of meeting participants, giving everyone the equity they deserve. As you saw from the recording, they basically build this smart gallery where they have cameras in the room up to 16 individuals that can be separately displayed in the Zoom room. And the purpose being, they don't want the people that are remote to be kind of left out of the conversation. And I guess that's useful to connect people in person and remote. I guess this is what Meta is trying to do with headsets as well, where you can feel like you're connecting with somebody that is not there. So comment down below Zoom L or Zoom Win if you think this is a cool feature. You can now make these types of videos with AI. So here's how you can do it. I'll go to clipdrop.com slash uncrop. I'll upload a still image from my video. I'll put it in the middle. I'm gonna pull the sidebars all the way and click on next. I like this one. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot cause they make you get a watermark and then I'll drop it in again. Make it big, center it, click on next. I like this one. So we're just gonna go down the rabbit hole, do it again, center it. Next, we just keep going with the energy theme. Copy, center. Okay, this is the last one. I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna open a new project in DaVinci Resolve. It's completely free. Pull in all the images. So I have my video here. I have the first frame when I know it's gonna start. So now I need to match between this cut and this cut. And the way we're gonna do that is just zoom in and we're going to make sure that they almost match completely so now they match very well i'm going to cut all the pieces to fit you can see the clips are very short and it looks like this now we want to animate by clicking the first clip just click a keyframe then i'm going to go to the end of the clip and i'm just going to drag the zoom all the way out till it hit the borders click arrow to the right and then i put a keyframe on the next segment Go to the end, zoom all the way out, make sure I match, keyframe again, zoom out for the last time, and this is what we have. Now put them in the opposite direction, so I'm just shuffling the keyframes. Lastly, you can make all of them go into a compound clip. Click Control R and you can speed it up if you want to. So let's do 200% speed. So this is the result. Do this. So I'm gonna show you how <laughs> simple, just need to add some sound effects and that's it. I, that's it for today. I'd consider joining Patreon down below. Also watch this video if you're new and I'll see you. Peace.